Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Emmanuel. In this tutorial, we'll be creating the sample of the church flyer we have on our screen here. If you're an old subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Without further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing we want to do is to take this off. So we'll select it and then we'll click on our delete button and we'll delete it. The size of our design is 1280 by 1280 pixels. So to work on our background, we head on to the plus icon here and we'll add a shape from our gallery. With the shape selected, we'll scroll down and we'll add a gradient effect. And the gradient is going to be from black to white here. So we'll select this from black to white. And then we'll head on to the plus icon here and we'll edit the color. And then we'll bring this all the way down because we want it to be from transparent to black so we'll click on ok and then we want our gradient to the black to be down and the transparent to be up so we'll select this and we'll bring it down and we'll select this and we'll take it up this way and then the black will be downward and then the transparent will be up so with this selected we'll check we'll click on ok and then we'll check so the next thing we want to do is to change the color of our gradient i want it to be a purplish color so we'll go to color here and then we'll activate the color and we'll change it from red to um, purple to this variant of purple and then we'll leave it this way so we'll scale it all the way to fit on our screen and then the next thing we want to do is to add a background since it's a church flyer we want to add a background whereby people are like um praising god with their hands up so we'll add an image here so we'll head on to our file manager and then we'll locate the image from our design resources here so we'll have it here let's scroll down and then we we'll have it here so we'll bring it onto our design and then we have it here neatly so the next thing we want to do is if you notice our image is having a sharp edge around this place and we don't want it like that so to remove that we'll select the image and then we'll come down to this erase button here select the erase button and then we'll increase the hardness of our brush and then we'll increase the size of our brush this way and then we'll erase the down part of our image so that it blends smoothly with the background so we'll check and then we'll click on ok to have it oops it didn't work okay let's click on the erase button i mistakenly pressed something so we'll activate it and then we we'll erase we we'll erase it erase the bottom pad erase it like this and then we'll check and then we'll have it there nicely so the next thing we want to do is to select this pinkish background this uh, um background here and then we'll duplicate it we'll duplicate it we'll duplicate the purple background and we have it on top of this and we'll duplicate it again we'll duplicate it again i will select the one on top here and we'll rotate it all the way like this we'll rotate it so that we have it uh like this yeah we'll have it like this and then we'll place it somewhere here so that it has a kind of a blend effect so i want to select this i want to duplicate it again we want to duplicate it again so that uh, it's a kind of transparent so we have it this way and we have it like this nicely so now that we are done working on our background the next thing we want to do is to lock them so that they will be in place so we'll just lock all of them to put them in place we'll just lock them to put them in place and then the next thing we want to do is to bring in our subject that's the main pastor remember this is just a fictional flyer so i'll use um a fictional image that i got from um on splash.com so i'll locate the subject here and this is the subject i'll bring it to my design and then i'll place it right there so i'll bring it to the center and then i'll scale it up a bit 
and I'll place him here. So the next thing I want to do is to erase this uh, down part here so that uh, it fits in with the background nicely. So I'll select the image and then I'll head on to I'll head on to erase and then I'll increase the size of my brush, increase uh, the opacity and then I'll erase the down part neatly. I'll erase it neatly like this. And then I'll check. So I want it to look like the subject is coming from the background. So I'll place it there and then I'll just adjust it to the center relative position and I'll put it in the center like this. Perfect. So I head on to this and then I'll lock it to put it in place. So then the next thing I want to bring in is um, the church logo. So I head on to the plus icon here. And then from my gallery, I'll import the church logo from my gallery. So I will locate the church logo and this is it here. So I'll just crop it down a bit and then I'll bring it onto my design. Now I want to change the color of this logo from this to white. So with the logo selected, I'll head on to color and then I'll activate the color and then I'll change it to white and I have it there nicely. So I'll just scale it down like this. And then I'll place it up here like this and this is it here now the next thing I want to do is uh, is the join us effect so I head on to the plus option here and then text and I'll bring it down and I'll double tap to edit so I'll erase this and then I'll add join us with this selected I'll select the text option and then I'll head on to font. So I'll change the font to something like this. Yes, to this. I'll change it to this. And then I'll click on OK. And then I will like to work on the size as well. So I'll just increase the size to about, about 100 and... 10. I'll increase it to about 110, uh, 120, about 120, and this is uh, perfect. So I would like to duplicate it. So with this selected, I'll make a copy. So I'll bring this down and then I'll select this and then I'll change the color of this from this to yellow. So I'll change the color and then I'll position it. I'll take it up a bit. And then I'll position it to the center. I'll position it to the center like this. And then I have it. So I'll also select this and I'll try to match it up like this. And then I'll also position it to the center like this. And I have it there. So I'll do a little adjustment by using the positioning option. I'll just adjust it a bit so that it's away from. I will have. The yellow effect that way so the next thing we want to do is to max the bottom part of our white text so that it gives us an effect there so with the white text selected we'll head on to the max option here and then we'll just place it the way we want it to max and i will place it just try to place it the way we want it to max like this try to adjust it and then we'll max it out and now we have the effect so with it selected, we'll just select it again and then we'll give it a shadow. So we'll head on to the shadow and then we'll add a shadow. So we want to increase the blur radius. So increase the blur, we'll decrease the blur radius and then the offset will increase it a bit. Have it this way and then we'll increase this and we'll have it this way. 
yes so what we want to do is to lock it so that we'll have it in place and it don't move while we are designing so the next thing we want to add is the time for we want to add the text join us this sunday so we'll head on to text and then we'll bring this down and we'll double tap and then we'll erase it and we'll type this sunday sunday and we'll have it so we'll bring it down and then we'll head on to font we'll head on to font and then we'll change the font to the name of the font we're using here is tuesday night so we'll select the font and then we'll click on ok i we'll want to increase the line spacing a bit so we'll increase the word spacing to about 12 and then we'll check so we'll like to increase it a bit like this and I'll place it somewhere here neatly so the next thing we want to add is the time for this service so we head on to the plus option here and then we'll add a shape I will crop it a little bit and then what we want to do is to reduce the radius a little bit so we reduce the radius to about 35 and then we'll increase we'll reduce the shape we'll reduce it reduce it and then we'll click on ok so we want to bring it and drop it somewhere here but we'll reduce it a bit let's take this sunday to the side a little bit and we'll bring this here so with it selected we'll change the color from white to yellow so we'll change the color from white to yellow and then we'll click on ok so we'll give it a little shadow so we'll give it a little shadow so we'll select it and then we'll head on to shadow and then we'll give it a little shadow so the next thing we want to add on this is to add the time and we'll head on to the text and we'll add the time and the time for this is 10 a.m so add the time 10 a.m And then we'll change the font to something bolder. We'll change the font to something bolder. And I think this is perfect. So we'll reduce the size of this. We'll reduce the size to about... Um, Twenty six, yeah, twenty six is okay. We we'll use the size to about twenty six, and then with with it selected, we we'll duplicate it again, and then we'll bring it down. I we'll want to add the venue of this, so I want to add the venue, and the venue we'll be using. Remember, this is just a default. This is just um. This is just a fictional flyer so transcorp hilltop abuja this is totally fictional so we'll just add this here and then we'll duplicate it again i'll bring it down and then we'll select this and then we want to increase the size to about 30 and then we'll increase um the spacing increase the spacing what spacing to about 10 10 and we have it here so the next thing we want to bring in is our location icon so we we'll head on to the plus option here and from our gallery we will locate the location icon that we have so we'll scroll down i think it's uh it's in our gallery So let's wait for it so we'll scroll down scroll down 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 sorry guys i have a lot of files here so i'll scroll down and this is the location icon and i have it here so i'll just crop it a little bit so that it's easier for me to work with and then i'll scale it down scale it down a little 
and then I'll select it and then I'll change the color to yellow I'll change the color to yellow and then I'll crop it down all the way down and then I'll click on OK so I like to position it close to my text so I'll select it and then I'll go to the position option and then I'll bring it down like this I'll take it up a little bit so now I'll select the text and the location icon and then I'll match them together so I'll select this and So I'll select this and this and then I'll match them together so that they become a single um, so the next thing I want to add is to add the contact since this is an e flyer we want to have a contact so I'll duplicate this and then I'll bring it down and then I'll type contact and I have it there and I'll change the color of this from white to yellow change it from white to yellow and then I'll reduce the size a little bit I'll reduce the size a little bit to 20 yes and I have it here so I'll bring this down and then I'll add the contact so this contact is totally um, fictional so zero zero dash zero 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 dash zero 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 dash zero zero comma one 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 dash one 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 dash one 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 dash one one so they're just fictional numbers just for the sake of design so i'll reduce the size to about 18 and then I'll increase the spacing so I'll increase this word spacing increase the word spacing so I'll place it here so I have it here so I'll select the two and then I'll match them together the contact and the numbers so I'll just match them together so that they become a single um, item so I'll just place them here I'll place this here and then I'll place this here so guys this is our flyer we are done with our flyer design as you can see it's looking perfect and you can learn this with your mobile phone totally with your mobile phone so you are done with your design and you want to save it you head on to the save option here and you save the project and you name it church flyer I have a church flyer there saved before so church flyer too so you click on ok and we have come to the end of this tutorials so thank you guys thank you for watching kindly support our youtube channel by subscribing and sharing our content kindly give us a thumb up if you got value for this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one